Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and this video series is called How to Make Your Drums Sound Great, and we're going to concentrate on cymbals in this video. Before I move on, let me tell you who this video is geared towards. The newer player, the intermediate player, someone who's looking to expand their expression on the instrument. If you're an advanced player, I definitely hope that you get something valuable out of what I'm about to, to show in this video, but if you're a new player, there's lots of little nuances and ways to make your instrument sound great, no matter what you have at home. Now, how do you make your cymbals sound great? Well, there's a few things you can do as far as accessories are concerned to change the sound of your cymbals, but really, it all comes down to the cymbal sound, the style of cymbal you purchased, what you have on your kit, and then how you manipulate that. Right now, on the kit here today, I have some really wonderful Sabian Anthology Series cymbals. Two crashes, a ride, and a set of hats. These cymbals sound great no matter what you do to them because they're just fantastically well-made and really high quality cymbals. But if you don't have the ability to buy expensive cymbals like these, you have some lower end cymbals, whatever cymbals you grew up with, you can do great things with those as well. No matter what you have at home on your kit, you can make it work for sure. So the first thing I want to talk about is how you hit the cymbals. That's really the most important thing about how to make a cymbal sound great because you don't just bash a cymbal, that's one way of doing it, but you have to use it as an instrument. So I'm talking hitting the cymbal with the shoulder of the stick on the side and also on the top when you crash it. Let me demonstrate that for you so you can hear the difference in the sound. First on the side and then on the top. Here we go. And along with the kick drum, by the way. Now right on the top. Now you're going, Nick, that really doesn't sound that different. But it does. There's nuance in how the cymbal reacts, especially if you're going to record the cymbal. One more time. On the side. There's a little bit more fullness in there. Now right on the top. It's slight, but you get a tiny bit more attack because the meat of the stick is whacking the top of the cymbal. You're hitting the whole plate, basically. That same thing could be said for your ride cymbal. You can crash ride cymbals. Hit it on the side with the meteor stick, and you'll get this sound. Now, ride cymbals are typically bigger than your crashes. You're going to get a little more of that sort of thing out of a ride cymbal more than you would out of a typical crash and it's a great sound. See if you can hear the wah when I hit it like this. I think drums have more, you know, weird noises and weird sounds that you could voice with your mouth than any other instrument. You can do the katang, the wah, the boom, the bap, all that kind of stuff. You can't do that with guitars, right? You can't do that with basses, but drums, you could, you could put words to anything, any sound you make. I think that's cool. All right, with ride cymbals, Obviously, hit it with the tip of your stick. That's where you're going to get the ping and the sound for your grooves. Use the meat of the stick, the shoulder of the stick, to hit the bell and go back and forth. And then use all the sounds of the cymbal. Now, the Sabian Anthology line are very expressive symbols. I can get a lot of nuance out of these symbols. So I encourage you, with whatever you have at home, mess with it. Really hit it softly and very, just barely touch the symbol. Hit it hard and loud and go everywhere in between. And you'll find the sounds that you can bring out of the symbols you have at home. Now, of course, it depends on the style of music you're playing and what you want to bring out of your symbols. Certain symbols do better for rock music, certain symbols do better for jazz music, certain symbols are drier, some are brighter, more open. There's such a huge variety in all the symbol lines and all the great manufacturers that we carry here at Sweetwater. So you have to think about that a little bit as well. What kind of music do you, what do you want out of your symbols? And when you purchase those, when you get those different sounds, you can really get even more creative. But this, the anthology line that I have here are really versatile and do a lot of stuff. That being said, other ways to make your symbols sound great 
is use different implements. So mallets are fantastic for symbols. Crashing with a mallet gives you a little bit more of that quah sound out of a crash. And then just a nice big full sound of you, out of your rides. And then of course, the big cymbal swells are just beautiful with a good set of mallets. Let's get into some soft sounds now with your brushes, wire brushes here. You can do so much with your cymbals. Let me demonstrate. You can get so expressive with a pair of brushes and your cymbals. Couple that with your drums and you're making some really beautiful music. So utilize everything that the brush has. The meat of the brush, like the, all of it, just barely touch the cymbal, use the back end, right, to make this sound. So many cool sounds. Whack the bell with the, these are plastic brushes, plastic cases here so I can get a nice sound on the bell with the plastic and go back and forth. So lots of sound variety with a pair of brushes and your cymbals. Next thing I wanna do is use two different kinds of dowel sticks, wood and nylon. Great sounds with your cymbals with these. Similar to your wire brush, just a little bit louder. They're a little bit thicker. They have more density to them than the wire brushes, but you get a similar vibe. Really beautiful. And then even more specific of a sound, grab your wood dowels and you can hear every nuance, every little stroke. These are awesome if you're playing a soft gig, you're in a house of worship setting, a small club, anything like that, an acoustic singer-songwriter sort of a situation, some hot rods, some wood dowel sticks, and these cymbals, a small drum kit, and you're off to the races with some great sounds. Last but not least, of course, is your sticks. And like I said before, utilize everything, the tip, the shoulder, the barrel, and all of your cymbal to get, just, you get as many sounds as you can out of that one instrument. Now you can use some accessories to change the sound of your cymbal, especially if you have a really bright sounding cymbal and you wanna, you, you don't wanna go buy a new cymbal, but you wanna find a, like a way to make it a little bit deader, a little bit drier. Well, you can use something like the Minel Cymbal Sustain Control Magnets are a really cool way to just deaden up your cymbal sound. And don't worry, if you play a different brand of cymbal that's not Minel, they will work with that brand. <laughs> You get two different size magnets, and these are really strong magnets. You have to pull hard to get them apart. A thin pair and a thick pair. And what you do is pull the magnets apart. You place one on either side of the cymbal, and then the magnets will go together, and then will deaden up the sound of your cymbal. So, so you can hear the comparison. Here's the cymbal without anything on it. Chimey, open, and all of that. I'm gonna take these magnets, and the first thing I'm gonna do is put it right up at the, 
Why would the bell and the shoulder of the symbol meet? They instantly grab each other, so they're not going to fall off the symbol. Now check out the sound. It's way deader and more of a jazzier sort of sound. You can deaden the symbol even more by moving the magnets towards the edge of the symbol. I'm going to put them right in the middle, right there. Check out the sound. It really makes a huge difference. Now for comparison's sake here, let's get the thinner magnets. I can, you can hear what that sounds like. So I'm going to do the same thing right at the bell. Here's what the symbol sounds like without the magnets. And with. It's really so cool. This, the smaller magnets, the thinner ones, deaden it up just a little bit, not so much, and you still get to sustain a little bit of wash from the symbol. Without, the attack is slightly deadened when they're there, right? Let's put them down closer to the edge. Oh, it's really dead now. And you can do the same with your crashes as well. So here's the crash. Obviously with nothing there. Let's put these right in the center. Here you go. <laughs> that does a quite a bit. I'd probably put these here on the bell. So it's, it doesn't deaden it as much. And then just adjust to taste. So this is one very cool accessory to change the sound of your cymbals by just putting a couple of magnets on. You can use gels like moon gel and other things like that, but again, it's gonna, they're going to stick to your cymbals. You might get a little bit of residue. One thing you definitely do not want to do to your cymbals, and I've seen, I've seen this plenty of times throughout my life, is put tape on the bottom of your cymbals, especially duct tape, which has a lot more glue in the tape. You'll never get that glue off. Just Even if it's gaff tapes, don't put any tape on your cymbals if you want to deaden it. Spend the few bucks to get a, a, an accessory like this or some moon gel and you'll be way happier and your cymbals won't have any crud on them. Really, that's about it. The way you hit the cymbals are the sounds you're going to get. So if you want to make your cymbals sound great, utilize everything your stick, your hands, your accessories like your mallets and brushes have to offer and you'll get so many great sounds out of your cymbals. And then, if you want to build up your cymbal vocabulary and your cymbal arsenal, Talk to your Sweetwater sales engineers and get some more of the great symbols we sell here at Sweetwater. We have such a huge variety from every manufacturer, all the great ones from dark to bright to crisp to, to just huge and heavy and everywhere in between. Symbols are fantastic instruments and I love to collect them like, like all drummers do, right? So thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and just keep playing drums, make that music, and I'll see you again next time.